matter what you've been told, dear listener, you are not tiny. You are a big, impressive adult. But this episode you're listening to now, it is, in fact, quite tiny. That's because this is the Tiny Tennis, where I, your host, Nick Amell, cover a top 10-ish list in about 10-ish minutes or less. If you're looking for something a little less tiny, check out our main weekly series where me and a guest cover lists more in-depth and in long form. Now let's talk about today's topic, convenience. We Americans love our convenience, right? Is there anything better than convenience? It's like, sure, sex is great and all, but a super convenient retail excursion? Ugh, nothing beats that. That convenience store on the corner can tell you a lot about whatever city you're in. And today, we're going to talk about it. Today's list covers the top 10 convenience store chains in America. But before I get to the list, let's take a step back and talk about what makes convenience stores so, well, convenient. A convenience store, also known as a bodega or a corner shop, is a small retail business with a large range of everyday items, but often not many selections. The stores tend to be pretty small, but offer many essentials, making them very convenient. Many of them are attached to gas stations or include fuel options, but they all vary a little bit. Customers benefit from their longer open hours, more convenient and greater number of locations, and shorter cashier lines. America loves convenience so much that there are just under 149,000 convenience stores across the United States. But other countries love convenience too. In fact, if you expand that out to a global scale, the convenience store market is valued at over $2 trillion, which means that if convenience stores were all combined into a single country, it would have the 10th largest GDP of any country in the world. Now, I mentioned 149,000 convenience store locations. Well, here we go. The list today comes from Scrape Hero, who used publicly available data as of 2023 to rank convenience stores based on the number of locations in the United States. So number one on this list has more locations in America than any other chain. My sources are Scrape Hero, as I mentioned, as well as Zipia.com, ConvenienceStoresNews.com, Statista, and a few notes from Wikipedia, too. Number 10, the 10th most common convenience store you're likely to see at your local gas station corner. Number 10 is Quick Trip. Now, I must clarify, this is Quick, as in K-W-I-K, you know, the, the normal standard spelling of Quick, and then Trip. It has 854 locations in America, but only six states is it represented. That's the fewest states on this list. The state with the most number of quick trip locations in the U.S. is Wisconsin, which accounts for about 59% of all their stores in the U.S. Scanies love their quick trip. Number nine is Chevron Extra Mile, with 997 locations in the country. It's present in 10 states. Most of those are in California. Now, this is where it gets a little weird. Number eight is Quick Trip. What? Nick, you already covered Quick Trip. No, 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 you silly goose. Quick Trip, this one is Q-U-I-K. You know, the second most common spelling of the word quick. Quick, no C, just a K, Quick Trip. And Quick Trip is one word instead of two. Yes, I know. It's it's one of them's had to have sued the other by now, right? Anyway, this Quick Trip, or QT, is number eight. It has 1,032 locations in 17 states. And this is my convenience store of choice. It's huge here in the Tulsa area, which is where I'm recording right now. And in fact, their headquarters is here in Tulsa. That's Quick Trip. Number seven is Wawa. And there's 1,042 Wawa locations in seven states. Now, I have a few notes on this one because it's interesting. Wawa began all the way back in 1803 as an iron foundry, but the owner decided dairy farming was more his speed. And so they moved to Wawa, Pennsylvania, where they're still headquartered today and got in the milk business. But it wasn't until the 1960s that the owner's grandson decided to open a Wawa food market to sell their dairy products. And that brings us to today. You can take your wee wee to Wawa in seven different states. Number six is EG America, with 1,611 locations in 30 states. You might not know this one. The name probably doesn't mean a lot to you because they usually operate under several different brands, including Cumberland Farms, Turkey Hill, Quick Shop. There's a, this is our third Quick on the list, this Quick Shop. Also, the... L- the Loafin' Jug. I don't know why they got to talk about my first wife that way. The Loafin' Jug. Uh, Tom Thumb, Mini Mart, Fast Track, and Certified Oil. Those are their most well-known brands. They're owned by EG Group, located in Blackburn, England. Now, they did not enter the U.S. market until 2018, and already in just five years, they've climbed to the number five spot on this American-based list. But let's move to number five. It's Casey's. 
We're jumping all the way up to 2,641 locations. They're present in 17 states. The company has grown exponentially, and they've even attracted the attention of numbers three and one on this list, who have both sought to take over Casey's and acquire it. But Casey's has rejected all offers, and they are avoiding mergers and purchases. So good for them. We'll see how long that lasts. Number four is Speedway. There's 3,275 locations in 36 states for Speedway. Number three. Okay. <clears throat> Alimentation Kushta. It's spelled Alimentation Kushtard. Huh? What? Who? Kushtard? I know, right? Well, give me a second. I'll tell you more about them. But they're, they got 6,469 locations. That's like double the number four spot. They're present in 44 states in this country. Now, Alimentation Kushtar. If that name doesn't ring a bell, it's a Quebec, Canada-based company that operates its corporate stores mainly under the brands Kushta, but also Circle K, Holiday Station Stores, and On the Run. In French, I looked this up, Kushtar, when translated, that means the type of person who goes to bed late, <laughs> with connotations very similar to Night Owl in English. I mentioned a lot of those brands that Pushtar operates, and one of those brands is actually so big that on its own, it's earned a spot on this list, and that's number two, Circle K, who's owned by number three, but Circle K is number two with 6,618 locations. They're in 46 states. They're actually in more states than even the number one on this list, the largest concentration of which are in Florida. Now let's get to the big one, number one, or should I say number seven, 11, 7-Eleven is number one. 9,492 locations just in the United States. That's 43% more locations than even number two. 7-Eleven is in 38 states. I'm actually surprised it's not in more. Now, a little bit of history. 7-Eleven, their start date goes all the way back to 1927 with an ice house named Totem Stores in Dallas, Texas. But in 1946, the chain decided to change their name to 7-Eleven because they had extended their hours from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m., seven days a week. Their headquarters are still in Dallas, but the chain is now wholly owned by 7-Eleven Japan. While they have many stores in the U.S., there are even more across the globe. There are 78,000 stores across 17 countries. 7-Eleven stores were initially noted for their totem poles, uniforms, and great customer service. Hmm. Today, they're probably best known for their Big Gulp beverages, which were introduced back in 1976. And that same year, 1976, is probably the last year you could expect, quote, great customer service at least in my recent 7-Eleven experience. The state with the most 7-Eleven locations in the country is California, with over 1,900 stores. That accounts for about 20% of all 7-Eleven locations in the country. And by the way, if you're wondering, since we've been talking about just the number of locations on this episode, if this list was instead based on annual revenue, 7-Eleven would still be number one. Their 2023 annual revenue was over $87 billion. Some big names missing from this list. There was no Murphy USA, who was owned for a long time by Walmart. Bucky's, BP America. But we did cover the top 10. Let's go back through it quickly. Number 10 is Quick Trip with a K. Number 9 is Chevron Extra Mile. Number 8 is Quick Trip with a Q. Number 7 is Wawa. Number 6 is EG America. Number 5 is Casey's. Number 4 is Speedway. Number 3 is Alimentation Kushtar who owns number two, which is Circle K, and number one, 7-Eleven. I don't know about you, but this list was just too much fun. Whew. Good thing we kept it short and sweet, huh? You might even say we kept it convenient. Speaking of short and sweet, please send me your short and sweet thoughts on this episode. Hit me up on social media, at TennisPod, that's at 10ISHPOD, or you can shoot me an email at TennisPod at gmail.com. And in closing, remember what I said at the start of this episode. You, listener, you're not tiny. You're big, and I love you. I hope you'll join me next month for another edition of the Tiny Tennis. Until then, I'm Nick Amell, and I'll see you at the 7-Eleven. 